You're at a social event with your friends. In that moment, you're telling an insightful story to hype your group up. What you didn't know is that the story was cooler than you thought. So you have people around you getting hooked by your interesting story, and as the party decreases its sound, the eyes on you increases. Crowds and crowds surround you to listen to your interesting story. What do you do? No worries, your YouTuber Ken Trinier is here to the rescue. Let's fix this awkward moment into a charismatic one so you can be the main hype of the party. Let's go. So for me personally, I have experienced these situations. They're not fun, but hey, as a charismatic person, I don't let the awkwardness get the best of me. So back in junior year, I was giving a freshman history tour to my friends that didn't know my freshman year and how it was like, right? So it started with my friend Kaylee and Shivani, right? I was telling them how my freshman year went and how I presented myself in freshman year but guess what the whole classroom started to get quiet and as they got more quiet they got more eyes staring at me and the most common mistake is you let the awkwardness get the best of you and guess what you get quiet and you stop your whole story you can go from a tour guide to a public speaker allow the unexpected invites to your whole conversation at the same time you don't want to purposely be the center of tension so step one is to measure the ratio from the tone to the size of your audience so the bigger your crowd is the higher your tone must be that means that my my tone must be at a 100% level so everybody can hear me. Every charismatic person gives the courtesy to let everyone hear what he or she has to say. And then step two, as more people know your insightful story, then this is when you start to increase your tone, right? And then you have to reposition yourself. Because when I was talking to Kaylee and Shivani, right, I was in that one position. I was in the center of tension. And just because everyone wants to listen to me, that doesn't mean that everyone can hear me. So therefore, what do I do? I reposition myself to an area where everyone can see me. Having everyone face the same direction, I reposition myself, my tone to audience ratio is correct, I'm well organized, and I can flex the charisma even more from this point on. So it leads to step three, finally engage it. Okay, so if you really believed in your story to your group of friends, you might as well share it. If it was a private embarrassing story, why would you wanna share it in public anyways? You know, it could have been through text or at a private hangout. The whole crowd wanted to hear your story or the way you talk, they believe in something in you. Why not serve it back? Definitely engage, engage, engage. Every charismatic person ain't afraid to engage their personality. Yes, step four is to organize. I already said organize. And then you gotta close it. After you're done finishing the story, there's gonna be some form of cheers or applause to you. <laughs> You were the charismatic person the whole time. You were the star. What you do is that you eventually go back to your original group, make sure that they were the original listeners, and then they get what you were trying to say the whole time. The people listening to you, they're gonna see you as another stranger giving an amazing story, and all they will see is like, dang, this guy's confident. Every charismatic person will thank the whole audience. And after that's done, you go back to your main group of friends, make sure that they're happy with your story, and then boom, you'll be one significant figure at that social event. That's how you do it. After I gave my freshman story to the whole class, I got claps, and I went back to Kaylee and Shivani. I hope you two felt how my freshman year went. They were like, Kenshin, yes, I got it. Yes, I feel it. Hey, if you want to know more charismatic tips, Please follow me on Instagram at Kentrinier because I will be posting more charismatic content up there. And hey, if you're new to this channel and you want to get more charismatic tips, content, and lessons, please subscribe to me. I want to unleash the potential of every charming person out there because hey, the world needs more charisma because hey, we need hype. We need energy. And that's what every charismatic person can do.